Hey, welcome back. Um, in the last video, we set up our Git con did our Git configuration, and so now we have Git configure and we can start using it. If you're gonna go along the road, but what I wanted to do in this video is um, set up an editor. And again, I'm gonna start with Windows because if you can get it working for uh, Windows, chances are you should be able to get it working for all the other environments. Um, uh, Linux users, you, you guys might have to do something a little bit more, but uh, hopefully in the website it should tell us. So, okay, so here's the editor um, and you may see me use this editor in the teaser, in the bonus video, teaser video. So open up your web browser, where I switch properly on, and then do bracket editor, all right? Okay, well I said bracket edit, but uh, really, what I really mean to type was bracket editor. And so there we go, bracket editor. And um, brackets IO is where you actually have to go. And then it's gonna detect your platform and say downloads brackets. And regardless of where, which platform you're on, um, it's gonna offer you a download. So for Windows here, it's uh, give me this, if you can see at the bottom, this MSI file that's popping up there. Um, Mac is gonna give you a package and Linux is gonna try and give you like a tar GZ or something. Okay, I might have to do one for Linux um, just because your, yours might be a little bit harder than anybody else. Um, and so I'm say save file and it's save it. And then I'm gonna double click and click on that single click. And then it's, I'm gonna say run. And then it says, where do you wanna put it? Do you wanna put it in the path and all that stuff? And I say, I'm, I'm gonna leave the defaults and say yes. And then I'm gonna say install. And then this should turn away a little bit. Um, it might prompt me to, yep, there you go. Do you wanna make changes to the system? Yes, yes, yes. And no, well, yes, no, only one yes. And then copy it and it install. Now, one caveat what I should have mentioned is that you need to have Java installed for this. Um, so hopefully people have Java installed. If you don't have Java installed, go to java.sun.com. No, I know Oracle bought Sun, but it's gonna redirect you to Oracle. And so once you're there, what you wanna do, do is go to, you know, this Java download right here. You know, they'll make it easy for you. And so Java platform JDK, and you want to just download that one, JDK, the first one, this one, blam. So you could do JDK or JRE. It really wouldn't matter for what we're doing. But um, because we're not going to, only time we're going to need a JDK is when we actually get into the Java-like development. But, you know, for now, don't worry about it. Um, actually, you know, you might not actually need Java because I think Brackets actually just uses CVA, um Castellan Shai Switch and um, so on. So yeah, let's forget the Java thing. Scratch that, I'll cut this up. You don't need Java. All right. So now that's downloaded, let's go find our, uh, let's go run our thing. Now that it's installed, now that we have, so now that we have bracket installed, let's go find it and run it. So here we go. And you can see it's right there, brackets. Uh, that's my phone going off. I'm gonna stop that right now. Um, or you can look in all and all programs and it's up there. And there we go, uh, select it. And brackets and it's telling me, you know, allow this blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna say allow. I don't know if you're gonna get prompt for all that stuff, but it's, Depends. And so they tell you a little bit about brackets and so on, and it's a uh, web ID and yada yada, and what's that, what's not. Uh, one of the nice things you can do with bracket is you can click this button right here, live preview, and you know, it's gonna open up a web browser. It says oh, error launch on web browser. Yeah, that sucks. Um, so let's start up our web browser here. We'll start started. And then I'm gonna go back and say live preview. And Chrome, couldn't find Chrome. All right, so it looked like it needs Chrome web browser. Ah, just one thing after the other. All right, fine, brackets. I didn't realize it needs Chrome. So let's go to Chrome um, at google.com. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, forget that, and then download Chrome. And then I say set Chrome as my default browser, accept and install. And again, this says save something. And I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna click there. And I'm gonna do run install. 
and yes and then now I can close Firefox and um, I'll leave brackets running and so it's downloading downloading whatever installing this this is unnecessarily long now I never install brackets in Windows so um, I know but I, I use brackets on my Mac where I already have Chrome because one of the first thing I do when I get a new computer is I always install um, Chrome and Firefox so I never have the pro problem of you know I never had a problem with brackets saying oh I couldn't find Chrome so I'll close Chrome for now I mean it's installed it's running and I'm gonna click here again and now it's saying that it should bring up it should start Chrome I mean it's taking a little bit longer than before and there it is it started Chrome and it's loading and there it is right getting started with brackets and what it did is it loaded this page right here you see getting started with brackets I'm gonna erase it and notice when I highlight it moved down to wherever I'm highlighting because it's talking to Chrome so if I remove this and I say instead it's not getting started with brackets but this is um, learning to program for the web this is for the web Bang. when I go over and look there it is so everything I type live updated on the web browser so this is gonna be not a decent editor for us to use and get started later on if you have your own favorite editor already do go ahead and use it don't change just because I suggest it's using brackets this is for people who have never done any programming before you have no idea what a uh, editor is and so you should download bracket the web ID editor and let's use that and it makes certain things simpler like so you see when we start playing around we can do some live viewing um, with that all right so that was it that's that's installing brackets and I hope it wasn't too painful um, I guess I should have tried it in Windows first before I recorded it but it's good that I did it that way because then I could run into a problem see that all you need to install uh, Chrome and show you how to install Chrome also. So that's bracket and Chrome install on Windows, but really bracket install. Uh, people on Mac and Linux, hopefully it works for you. Linux, I'll do a video for you because I think yours might be a little different. And again, we'll, we'll figure it out when we do that video. All right. Thanks again. Bye. See you.